Welcome to this Photoshop tutorial where we're going to learn how to do some video editing basics with Photoshop using some uh, layer blends and uh, create an uh, introductory video for different purposes such as uh, introduction for presentations or introductions for movie clips so on and so forth so let's start uh, with this tutorial here we have this image this image will be the background of our video effect and then I have these different images on different layers, starting from two, three, four, and five. So as you can see, not all images are equal. Not all images are covering the background. So the first thing to do, we need to adjust the images using the transform tool by covering the whole background. So to see what I'm doing, layer one, I'm going to switch it off. To switch off a layer, we have these eye icons on the left-hand side of each layer thumbnail. If you click it, you hide it accordingly. So now I want to enlarge to increase the size of layer 5. So I'm going to click on layer 5 um, to make it active. Go to edit, transform and scale. I'll make sure to cover the whole background. Okay, once you're ready accept the transformation. I'm going to switch off layer 5 and see that layer 4 is covering the background. Switch off layer 4 making sure that also layer 3 is covering the background, switch off layer 3, and as you can see, we have some spaces on top of the bottom of the layers, so I'm going to click on layer 2, edit, transform, scale, and make sure to cover the whole area, and exit the transformation. Once this is done, I'm going to switch on again all my layers. Now, I'm going to click on layer 1, and select a blend option, blend mode, from my list of blending options and layer blending options here to make sure that it blends properly with the rest of the background so i'm going to start with multiply good so it's, it blends perfectly multiply do the work so now the rest uh, of the work will be uh, done on the timeline so to um, display the timeline we need to go to window find timeline it's nearly the bottom here and this part will be displayed. Now here we have options. This drop down menu give us two options, create a video timeline or create a frame animation. In our case, we're going to use the video timeline. So click on the video timeline once selected and this will give us all our layers placed differently in each timeline. What we're going to do, we're going to create transitions between the images. Therefore, we need layer two, three, four, five and one in a single timeline and this is how we're going to do it if we go to the very end of each timeline we can see that the cursor changes changes in double arrows and a uh, square bracket if we press our left mouse button we can go left and right this actually controls the length of the video and once you are sliding, you can see the time. We have end 2 minutes and 24, duration of 2 minutes and 24. For the first one, actually, it, uh, it gives us the same time. So I'm going to place it around 1.30. Doesn't matter if it's 1.29, 1.30, it doesn't matter the length. Once I have this set, I can start placing the others the same length. In the lower part, we have, the, we have the time, the frame per second, we have also the slider. This helps us to zoom in or zoom out. This stage I'm going to zoom out so I can see where I'm placing my images. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up layer 4 and drag it beside layer 5 and continue doing with the rest of my images. As you can see, layer 1, it's kept on top layer 1 needs to blend with the layers below. It's also shorter than this, so we need to increase the length by dragging towards our right hand side. At this stage, if I press play, I will only see sort of a slides without any transition. So layer 5 will jump to layer 4, then layer 4 will jump to layer 3, layer 3 will jump to layer 2 and so on and so forth without having any transitions in between. This is the playhead where you can slide left and right and decide which point to stop. We're going to the far left 
because we need to start from the beginning. And we have this box here with a diagonal line, half gray and half white. If I click on it, we have different type of transition fades. Cross fade, fade with black, fade with white, fade with color, or just simple fade. I'm going to use the cross fade. So once you decided which fade, in our case is the cross fade, just drag it between the two videos, or the two images in our case. As you can see, this shortens a little bit our uh, length of our oranges because it takes place the uh, crossfade. Play. Now we can see that this time we have a slower transition between one image and another. Now, more things that we can add on the timeline. Um, once we have added images, I'm going to add some um, video or moving images. To do this, uh, we need to go to our timeline here, group, which is video group one, and we have this icon, which is a film strip, short film strip icon. If I click the drop down menu from here, I can choose to add a media or do other things, or delete the track, so on and so forth. I'm going to add a media, so I'm going to click add media. I'm going to click on my moving clouds, open. We have um, imported our video, you can see. So uh, we can see it's, it's over goes the video, so we need to reduce the, the length. So we'll go to the end, even we can zoom a little bit in, okay? So we can go reducing the size, this will do, and increase the length. Now, as you can also see, the uh, moving clouds are not well positioned over the image. We have a small screen here, it's not covering. So we need to add it and transform the video. But before transforming, we need to convert the movie clip into a smart object. Otherwise, the, the conversion, the transformation will not happen. So I'm going to select my movie layer here, right click, and from the drop down menu, I'm going to select convert to smart object. Once it's converted, now I can transform my video clip. So I'm going to click on my video clip, I go to edit, transform, and scale. And now I can scale my video clip until it covers my um, image. It doesn't matter the proportion, I'm just covering the image. Once this is done, I'm going to, not to the very end, but accept the transformation. Go back here and play. Okay, I have my background playing here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place a crossfade from this still image to my video. So this will have a smooth, clean, nice transition. Okay, and that's my video. But something is missing. I need some sound. So if I go on my timeline here, I have the audio track. From the drop down menu, I am going to add audio. I'm going to find my um, MP3 sweet piano, open, and here I have my audio. Again, it's too long, so I'm going to shorten. Same thing as the videos, so placing the cursor at the very end, right end, and then drag it. And I have also my sound. I'm going to play. So this is my preview here. Okay, so sounds okay. Now it's time to render the video. To render your video, make sure that everything is it's in uh, its place here. Just go to File, Export, and Render Video. Okay. Then we have the Adobe Media Encoder. Select the folder where you want to put your video. Uh, select the format. I suggest QuickTime, but we have also H.264, which is for the streaming purpose and the BX. I select QuickTime for compatibility. Then we have document size. Now it depends what type of uh, 
video. If you're going to make a high quality video, you can also import JPEG quality and compressed. I'm going to keep it um, animation medium quality. You can also change the frame rate and you can also change the document size. Actually, you can choose the format of video you would like to watch your intro. We have from high definition to full high definition. I'm going to use the medium one, so it's HDV, HDV, 720 by B for the purpose of this tutorial. Once you are ready, you can just click render and the video will render. It will take a few uh, minutes depending on the length and the quality of the images. We have our video rendered, we can see the result. See you for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.